Clouds of ash swept over the volcano's peaks in gusts of hot air leaving people shaken. They couldn't see what was happening. Rocks that exploded from the volcano rained down from the sky. Millions of rocks fell, most smaller than baseballs, but some as big as beach balls. About 1 million tons of ash and rock spewed from the volcano out through several craters that had never been there before. When scientists investigated the impact, they found no new lava flows and no newly formed ash. What exploded from the mountain was not lava or fire, but water. The explosion was triggered by a seemingly harmless pool of water, originating from rain and snowmelt, hidden beneath the surface. The water suddenly heated up from below, perhaps due to a burst of hot gas from a deep magma chamber. Water turns into steam. Cracks underground become visible as this evaporated water expands to hundreds of times its original volume. This high-pressure wedge pushed cracks toward the surface, creating holes that widened into craters as the escaping steam blew rock and old ash into the air. Steam explosions can also occur in many other places in the world. Explosions that occur in active volcanoes are called phreatic explosions. This occurs when underground water is suddenly heated by magma or gas. But similar steam explosions, called hydrothermal explosions, can occur in regions that do not have active volcanoes. Like Yellowstone, the destructive force comes from water expanding into steam. Yellowstone National Park, which hasn't seen a magma eruption in 70,000 years, has seen hundreds of hydrothermal explosions of various sizes. In recorded history, only minor events have occurred, said Paul Bedrosian, a geophysicist with the U.S. Geological Survey in Lakewood, Colorado. But we know that Yellowstone is capable of causing major disasters. There is often speculation about whether Yellowstone's giant magma system will rise and erupt, but these hydrothermal explosions present a much greater risk today. This large crater indicates that Yellowstone has experienced explosions many times larger than those at Mount Ontake over a long period of time. Scientists think that the big explosion in Yellowstone may have only occurred under certain conditions that occurred thousands of years ago at the end of the last ice age. But research in Yellowstone and other places where large hydrothermal explosions occurred shows that this belief is wrong. These huge hydrothermal explosions are very, very dangerous, said Lisa Morgan, a USGS scientist emerita and volcanologist in Denver who has spent 25 years studying the largest explosions in Yellowstone history. Hydrothermal explosions often occur with much less warning than regular magma eruptions. And reconstructing the triggers, especially the largest ones, has proven challenging, said Shane Cronin, a volcanologist at the University of Auckland in New Zealand. Globally, no one has ever seen anything like this happen. But Morgan got a clearer picture of the trigger and whether it was possible to estimate the time of the explosion. Exploring the bottom of Yellowstone's largest lake, he and his colleagues have discovered a restless landscape filled with hundreds of previously unknown heat vents. Some of the world's largest hydrothermal explosion craters and fragile geological pressure cookers could one day trigger new explosions. While Yellowstone Lake has the most violent history, it's clear that other parts of the park can also produce major explosions.